Japan has made history by soft landing on the lunar surface. SLIM, smart lander for investigating the moon, has achieved pinpoint landing with an accuracy of 55 meters from the target location. But the SLIM lander landed upright. Japan, in the latest press release, has released the details of the lunar landing. According to this, the lander had encountered an anomaly when it was 50 meters above the lunar surface. Now, let's see what actually happened. SLIM has two engines, 12 thrusters, three each on all four sides of the main engine. It also has two navigation cameras, a landing radar, and two small probes called LEV-1 and LEV-2, that is Lunar Excursion Vehicle 1 and 2. Japan had chosen an inclined location in Sholi Crater to take spectroscopic images of the terrain. For this, they require pinpoint landing capability. Landing location was decided using Chandrayaan-2 orbiter of ISRO and Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter of NASA. There are two phases in landing, one power descent phase, two vertical descent phase. Before the start of power descent phase, the spacecraft was revolving around the moon in 15 by 600 km elliptical orbit. For landing, two things will be considered. One is the altitude from the moon's surface. Two is the horizontal distance between the spacecraft and the landing location. The spacecraft's horizontal distance was 800 km from the targeted location and its altitude was 15 km from the lunar surface. The start of power descent phase. The landing started at 23.59 Japan Standard Time. SLIM's two main engines were started. This reduces the horizontal velocity. For the power descent phase, image-based navigation was used. That is, the spacecraft compared the images taken by the navigation camera in SLIM with previously stored images taken from Chandrayaan-2 orbiter. The power descent phase went as planned. And at the end of this phase, SLIM was at an altitude of 6.2 km from the lunar surface and within 100 meter range from the target location. Start of vertical descent phase. For the vertical descent phase, SLIM's landing radar and image-based navigation were used. The landing radar was used to measure the altitude and speed with respect to the ground very precisely. When SLIM reached 50 meter height, it started hovering. At this point, the spacecraft was just 10 meters away from the target location. Until 50 meters, the aim of the spacecraft was to land precisely at the target location. After 50 meters altitude, the priority shifted to landing safely, that is, landing by avoiding obstacles. So, SLIM used image based obstacle detection twice and decided on the landing location. It was 11.8 meters away from the target location. It was at this time the abnormality occurred. It was in one of the main engine's thrust performance. The navigation camera kept taking pictures. As you can see, the left picture was taken at 0 hours 19 minutes 40 seconds and the right 0 hours 19 minutes and 20 seconds Japan Standard Time. When we compare the picture, there's a change indicated by the red lines. This is the nozzle part of one of the main engines. That is, the engine's nozzle had fallen down. SLIM had lost one of its main engines. With this challenge, SLIM continued its descent and landed upright with a speed of 1.4 meter per second. This was a perfect soft landing. But SLIM landed upright with solar panels facing west and 55 meters away from the target location. After landing, communication was established. The sun was in the east and solar panels were facing west. So, power was not getting generated. Emergency landing procedures were carried out. First, data from SLIM was downloaded. Second, unnecessary equipments were turned off. Third, multi-band spectroscopic images around the landing location were taken. For all these, batteries were disconnected and finally the spacecraft was turned off now the sun is in the east and the solar panels are facing west when sun moves towards west power generation is possible after which slim might turn on 
for scientific experiments. So, scientists will try to establish communication on February 1st, 2024. When SLIM was at an altitude of 5 meters, two probes were ejected. These are two small rovers which can move. They are LEV-1 and LEV-2. LEV-2 took photos of the lander after landing and via LEV-1 sent it back to Earth. This is the picture taken by LEV-2, sent to ground directly by LEV-1. Congratulations Japan for successfully soft landing on Moon and creating history by pinpoint landing. Overall, what has happened? What was achieved? JAXA was able to demonstrate pinpoint landing. The spacecraft was functional after landing and communication was established. The two probes LEV-1 and LEV-2 functioned as planned. Thank you for watching.